How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today we're going to be going over five of the best day one sources of sanity in Don't Starve Together. This is a video that I've sort of been wanting to make ever since I made the day one crockpot recipes video because I made some recommendations in that video that I think were a bit misguided in regards to the sources of sanity that the player should be looking for that early in the game. I personally in that one recommended a food recipe when in fact using more natural things at hand is generally preferred. So let's get started. At the top of the list we have the green mushrooms. You've probably encountered these in either forests or marshes. They only appear at dusk when they can be picked but you could always dig them up with a shovel. If you dig them up with a shovel they'll be permanently destroyed though but you'll get an additional green cap. Now once you have acquired your green mushrooms you can cook them over a campfire and they will turn into cooked green mushrooms mushrooms or cooked green caps which would be the more accurate description of them. The reason you want to cook green caps is because if you eat them raw they'll hit you for minus 50 sanity whereas if you cook them they'll net you a total of 15 positive sanity at the cost of one health point. The one real downside is the fact that they're not quite as reliable given that mushrooms require there to be a substantial rainfall at any time to actually regrow. They do not have a normal growth cycle that many other plants and don't starve have. Okay, number four. We're looking at another one of the mushrooms in the mushroom family, the blue mushrooms or blue caps. The blue mushrooms are typically found in grasslands and marshes and they'll only appear at night. Once again, much like the green mushroom, if you you dig one up you'll get double the yield but they'll be permanently removed from the map and will never regrow and if you cook a blue cap it will change those stats from the plus 20 health plus 12.5 hunger and minus 15 sanity to minus 3 health zero hunger and plus 10 sanity so in terms of being an all-around superfood blue caps certainly have the green cap beat but if you're looking for specific sanity related bonuses you're better off eating a cooked green cap cap or green mushroom. Number three in this list is certainly going to stir up some controversy with especially more veteran players of the game because they don't like it when you do this. Flowers can be picked to restore five sanity apiece and even if eaten will restore a total of one health. The main reason that more experienced players will recommend against picking flowers is because in general sanity is not a very big issue and if you leave the flowers in place they will automatically automatically spawn butterflies during the daytime which can be hunted and killed as a great source of health on their own as well as some additional hunger. Most experienced players are willing to trade off these small sanity gains from picking flowers in favor of a near endless supply of butterflies to hunt when you're out on the trail. However I think there is certainly a time and a place for picking flowers and in many worlds there is more than enough to go around especially if you find yourself in a bit of a tight spot. Just do not clear out an entire biome of flowers when you're picking them up. Number two on the list is cactus flesh, which can be harvested from a cactus at a cost to health. Now, if you're not wearing any armor, simply harvesting cactus flesh from a cactus would cost you a total of six health, but wearing armor can reduce that down to one. And once you cook that raw cactus flesh, it actually restores one health, meaning that you're not going to take a hit to your health at all. You'll restore a total of 12.5 hunger and a total of 15 sanity, making cooked cactus flesh ultimately better than even cooked green mushrooms, as all of its attributes are positive. Cactuses themselves are always found in the desert biomes, and one aspect that really sets them apart from the competition is the fact that they regrow regardless of the season, making them a year-round source of sanity generation. And in first place, we have the act of prototyping items, which give the player a total of 15 sanity for each item prototyped. Now, if you're not quite certain what prototyped means, basically anytime you craft something in the game through either like the science machine, the alchemy engine, or the shadow manipulator, that unlocks it in the player's crafting menu so they don't need that machine again. And the very first time they craft any such items, they will receive that prototyping bonus. 
This means that in the earlier parts of the game especially, you really don't have to worry about sanity because as soon as you're going to be getting a camp set up a little bit, uh, you're most likely going to be prototyping a whole lot of items and if you actually have your sanity up too high, by prototyping all those items you're simply allowing a lot of what would otherwise be free sanity to go to waste. So this is why generally in the early parts of the game you should not worry yourself too much about sanity because in general prototyping is going to be there to get you back up to a comfortable spot. The downside of course to prototyping is that of all of the techniques that I've mentioned here it's really the only one that's not renewable at all. Since only the first time you craft an item counts as a prototyping that means that eventually just by the sheer numbers of it you are going to run out of items to prototype to regain your sanity this way. So it's definitely a great early game source of sanity that you can most certainly rely upon but as you move more towards the middle part of the game you're going to be wanting to look into some more renewable sources of sanity but in this episode I was mostly concerned about the players who enter the game and maybe within the first 10 days uh, find themselves dealing with severe sanity issues when they really shouldn't be because there are these tactics that I've just the five of them that I've just pointed out that will make sure that you should never really have to worry about sanity that early in the game again. So I hope you found this list of five day one or early game sanity sources helpful. Uh, thank you very much for watching as always and hope to see you next time.